Hey guys, what is up? I am Tito the OG and it's been a few months since I uploaded. Why is that? Well, you could probably tell that the background behind me is very different. I recently moved into an apartment, so um, I have more space for my goodies. As you can see here, you know, here I got the Jack Sonic, I got the uh, Resaurus, I got Joyride Sonic and Shadow. It's a bunch of jazz wares, you know, classic. I got some random miscellaneous stuff, some Sonic Generation stuff, but what's this right here? You guys may have seen this in the time I've been away. This is my custom Sonic Adventure 2 Jack Pacific Sonic action figure. Now I posted this guy on my YouTube channel a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, but whenever I first made him and I've been getting comments like, oh, make a tutorial on how to make him. And I actually recorded like the the speed painting process video for him a long time ago and he released on my Etsy shop uh, two months ago or so um, but now I'm finally barely getting to actually making this video it took me a long time because I was uh, doing school and doing orders and stuff like that and all of that together left little to no time for actually making YouTube videos but I'm officially done with school and I'm graduating. So you could expect more videos down the line. Now this is one of my favorite customs that I've made just because I'm such a huge Sonic Adventure 2 fan. And I'm sure if you're watching this, you are as well. Who isn't? Everybody loves Sonic Adventure 2. And since he released on my Etsy shop, a lot of people have managed to get one of their own. And I'll put a few pictures of people's uh, up on screen right now. And uh, it just makes me really happy to see that everyone's loving my work and is supporting me in ways that, uh, like buying uh, the customs that I make. It's honestly such a cool feeling and you know I just want to thank you guys uh, a lot and another huge shout out to one of my friends his name is Gio. He actually made me this custom Tito the OG shirt and just check out the back. That is so rad. Uh, I made him some custom parts for his action figures uh, for a collector's uh, classic Amy figure uh, which I'll put a picture of up on screen and uh, I, I made the parts and he painted it and it just looks amazing. Uh, so huge shout out to him. I, I really appreciate this awesome t-shirt. It is very cool It's gonna be one of the few that I circulate through uh, in my videos from now on, but now let's get to the action figure All right, so I grabbed Sonic Adventure 2 Sonic and tossed him into blender and I split his parts apart and uh, I kind of made them smoother and not so low poly that way they will look good in the printing process after printing, I primed all the parts with flat white spray paint, and you can see here they all look nice and clean. Well, that's just the head, but priming your prints makes the painting process a lot easier. Here I'm using the Vallejo model color blue, and I find that to be the closest blue to the Jack's body. Uh, you can see I'm applying it here in thin layers because I don't want it to uh, blob up, I guess the best way to explain it. Uh, you gotta wait for it to completely dry before you apply any other coats, or else it'll start peeling the layers underneath. So I kind of wait for it to dry and I start applying my other coats, and you can see it deepens the blue a little bit. After a few more coats, it's starting to get closer to that dark bluish purple that the Jack Sonic body yet uses. Then I go in with a finer brush and I start going around the eyes and tracing them. Right here I use the Craftsmart dark yellow color for the skin. Uh, I found this at Michael's and it is the closest match to the Jack's skin tone that I can find. This paint is only maybe like a buck at Michael's and uh, I say this many times, but it really goes to show that you don't really need expensive paints to make a good looking product. Also, I will have all of the paints and items I use down in the description below to purchase so that way you guys can get your hands on some of them as well. After I did the muzzle, I did another coat over the blue and you can see it now it looks pretty darn good. I went in with green and you can use any green you like. I use this green, honestly, I wish I could find a better one because it takes so many coats just to make look decent. Uh, but I use a really fine tip paintbrush to outline it in an even darker green just to get like a nice look around the eye. I 
I put some more green on top, but it was still a little wet, so I ended up peeling the paint a little bit, but I just covered that up later. Then I went in with some black and I started painting in the pupils. I wanted to get this as close to the game's model as possible, so I referenced the texture for Sonic's eye in Sonic Adventure 2, and he has like a white gloss on top, and then like a darker gray gloss underneath. So I kind of dotted a little bit of white for the gloss and then I dotted right underneath a little bit of dark gray just to match the texture. You can use a little dotting tool or a paintbrush. I just used a mechanical pencil tip just because it was what I had around me and it worked pretty well. Then I went in afterwards and I finished up painting the blue underneath his head. Now for what everyone has been waiting for. The soap shoes. So here I have my soap shoes that I've been selling for over a year now. And I primed them in white paint so that way the paint adheres better. And I start off with this model color gray. You don't have to use the exact colors that I do, I'm just showing what I use. I go ahead and paint all of the gray parts on both of the shoes, then I move on to the yellow. Now the yellow, I actually use this Posca paint pen. Um, the, the paint kind of rubs off a little bit, but if you let it dry properly and seal it, then you'll be all good. I like how vibrant it is. Then for the red, I use the Vallejo uh, Scarlet for the red and I like to apply it in very thin coats so that way the final product is very smooth. And as you can see there is some white showing underneath and that's completely fine because I'll be going over with another coat later and covering up that white so it is solid red. I used black and I touched up all of the parts on the shoe that are supposed to be black including the sole. Then I filled in the red on the sole. And as you can see here, I went in with my second coat of red and it pretty much covers up all of the white that was showing underneath and it leaves a finished, smooth look. I used silver on the gray parts just to make them look a little bit more shiny. And finally, I did the outlines using this Tombow marker pen thing. I will have a link to this pen down in the description below as well. This is definitely the most tedious part as getting these lines perfect and smooth is very difficult. Just take your time, breathe, and touch up any parts that got messed up. After all the outlines were done, I grabbed my Posca marker again, and I did the inside of the sock to match how it looks in game. Then I painted the hands white and Adventure 2 Sonic is finally complete. All right, and that is how I made this character. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to really do any, um, I guess, tutorials on how I print and everything like that in 3D model, especially, mainly because a lot of my 3D modeling is just very spontaneous work that I don't really end up um, making customs out of until after I print them. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this will be cool to make a custom of. A lot of it's just very like, spontaneous stuff that I do. And also a lot of my 3D modeling is very unprofessional and improper that I know if I made videos showing how I did it, I'd get a lot of comments saying that I am doing things wrong and I don't care. I'm gonna keep doing the things the way I do them. But I do wanna start doing more videos on like the post-processing side of my work, such as taking things off my resin printer, cleaning them up and uh, more stuff like that instead of just the painting process. Cause I'm sure many people would enjoy that also. You could expect the next video being my custom Sonic Adventure 2 shadow figure, which uh, 
I actually released those as well, and some people have had their hands on them. So uh, you, you've probably seen pictures of him earlier when I was showing off other people's photos. Also guys, I made a Discord server where you can chat about Sonic figures, post your custom figures, and even get sneak peeks for whenever I am working on new things. Uh, so if you wanna join it, feel free to. I have a link down in the description below where you can join in. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am Tito the OG, and I will see you guys next time.